Hey there, sign of Scorpio. Hope you're doing okay. This is Kim here to do your reading for your weekly. It's going to be um, a weekly tarot and oracle read for the 21st through the 27th. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into your reading. I'm asking that your angels and your spirit guides join us because we like to get channeled information here that's for your best. Spirit hoping, hoping that this is clear and concise so that Scorpios can understand what the message is about, what it's for, and resonate. Okay, this is the Modern Goddess Oracle. I'm going to pull an Oracle first. Oh, the Shadow Master. <laughs> the Shadow Master, of course. Artemis. All right. Hera on the bottom, or Hera on the bottom. There's a lot of pride in some kind of work being done, and there's uh, money in abundance, too, coming through with that. The way to get to that would be to focus on the shadow master, uh, the shadow side, because it was like this. So, definitely, you're going to have some things in your shadow. Everybody has a shadow side, and the brighter your light, the bigger your shadow cast, and that's that's just fact. So Artemis is about, I feel like it's about getting back to integrity um, and knowing, you know, which way your compass is directing. So if we're in at our south node, we want to go towards our north node. Um, Artemis is, is knowing what direction and going after it. Um, bear medicine, this might be a motherly energy. It might be about taking time out for some rest and reflection with this shadow master. Rest and reflection. Okay, I'm going to pull um, some business oracle cards at the end. And we're going to just jump right into your um, tarot spread. So the shadow master and Artemis. Shadow master and Artemis. And this is the Light Sears Tarot we're going to pull from. Oh. Messages for Scorpio, please. Coming out. Coming out of a time where things just weren't really that clear. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Wands, is has a message not to give up. Um, whatever this is, whatever it's about, don't give up. Keep um, keep persisting and persevere. Persisting and persevere because look, we have your Six of Wands. Six of Wands, your um, notoriety, fame, public recognition. Um, people uh, pra praising something about what you're doing to lift yourself up. What is the challenge? The King of Swords in the reverse. It could be about discipline and getting out of like a, la a lazy spell, possibly. Ten of Swords walked away from something. Something was a completion. Seven of Wands. The Strength card, Leo Leo. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. So we have ten, ten. <laughs> so patience and divine timing. You have the Empress energy. Jeez. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. <laughs> yeah. And the outcome, the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get another one with that. And the Six of Wands. Let's get another one. And the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that's why I kept going and going and going. Uh, I hate having to say 
what I see in the cards when it's not something great. I hate having to say that part. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to get over that anxiety and I just go ahead and tell you what I see. So you're, you're reading, um, you have a victory from walking away from something. Um, I don't know if you have walked away already or not. There, there is something, it feels almost like, I'm going to be honest, it feels like a really controlling, doesn't have to be male necessarily, maybe dominant. It feels like a very controlling, dominant energy that is a challenge that I think you're cutting yourself out of or getting away from. It could be somebody that, um, there could be a, it could have even been a friend, an ex-friend or somebody that you know with this queen of pentacles in the reverse as somebody that's trying to intervene in your domestic affairs you know they try to uh get into your business and it looks like they did with the lovers in the reverse so it feels like somebody was not very loyal or did not take a commitment very serious and so now you're going towards a financial windfall here with this Nine of Pentacles and you're leaving behind this crap because somebody made a really bad decision and because of their bad decision though, it led you to cutting this out of your life or this person and then you're going towards uh, financial freedom, happiness, independence. It's a good, um, it's a good story. It's just, ah, oh, you know, just, ugh. Because, and the reason I say that is because somebody might be pregnant. Or you just might be the Empress Energy having more to look after and more to care after than uh, putting up with some BS, right? Maybe that's it. Maybe you're just the mama picture. Like here, you picture you as the mama, maybe. Um, male or female, Temperance in reverse is that you're losing patience. But I'm telling you, you have the confidence to know what to do. You have the confidence to know what to do. You have this strength card. The lamb of innocence pretty much there. It's the lion and the lamb laying together. Um, but this is part human, part lion. All right, so you found the strength. You found the confidence to stand up for yourself. Something about in the past, uh, there was this uh, security of this bubble because I feel like it's a healthy way to place boundaries that we had. And no matter what it was like to poke and try to get to you, they couldn't get to you. So this person possibly tried to get at you or tried to... Um, make things harder. And I don't think, I think you found that peace within, like you dropped into the center and found your peace within and um, they couldn't get to you. So this is really assertive and drawing boundaries. And I think that's why it, it goes into this, like it's a huge victory for you. Because this kind of energy, the King of Swords, is a really, it's in the reverse. So I feel like it's an a an abuse almost of power, maybe an abusive person. Maybe they don't know they're being abusive, but they might be being abusive. So somebody is saying, hey, I'm sorry. I've got some crap going on. I shouldn't have done that. I messed up. They're trying to apologize and you're just not going to have it. You're just not going to have it. Ten of Wands is in reverse because you're lightening your load. You're grabbing your crap or you're grabbing their crap. Saying to the left. <laughs> Ten of Wands in reverse. I know this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but I, it is such a specific message that I have to get that part out there. The others of you, this is really just about... Um, I think it's about not judging a, a decision that was made as right or wrong, that it was just something that, and, and 
it was it may have to be that that the resources we have are less so we have to hold on tight to more um don't don't judge nothing was wasted with any decision that you may view as being a mistake and the nine of pentacles is eventually what follows so it's a big gain it's things are ready for fruition this was part of your major transformation this was part of wrapping it up this was the loose ends this is the 1010 a cry for you to have patience because temperance is in reverse i'm seeing that you're definitely not have any you definitely lost your patience with this situation king of swords in reverse can we talk about aquarius energy um but it i i feel like if this energy you know wasn't the one to butt into your domestic affairs and say you know, have an opinion when i don't think it's wanted or needed the king of swords here in the reverse is someone who likes to see people sabotage or get sabotaged. It, it might be because they don't know how to use their intellect or their intellect goes to waste on trifling um, things. <laughs> so the Knight of Cups energy is like there wasn't, something wasn't unnoticed, didn't go unnoticed, but you just don't want to accept it. If it's an apology, you just don't want to accept it. You're the Empress energy, so you have a lot of respect for yourself, and you know that your um, stuff, the stuff that you accomplish, is going to be really great and fruitful. And um, yeah, so that's what I got for you. Let's um, let's go ahead and we'll clarify something here. Artemis might be coming out saying, "Choose a new direction." for some area for an area in your life choose a new direction possibly this knight of cups could be an offer to just you know in general that you see through as being not um not genuine so why did the shadow master come out because maybe some people can trigger us to to consider certain behavior and actions that we normally wouldn't just because we're in the angry state which I don't really see anger, though, too much in here. I see happiness to be independent and reliant on self. What is this? Because the Ten of Swords is like, I'm just t totally done. I'm totally done even thinking about it. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords here. Ace of Swords in the reverse. It's something that was not clear. You're tired of somebody being not truthful to you. Tired of, tired of somebody being all smoke and mirrors, possibly turning to drugs. It can be something or someone's bad decisions that involve um, using money inappropriately. Possibly that could lead to you going off on your own here too. This could be a home business that's just transformed. It can be something like that too, but this feels like somebody's not been telling you the truth and um, that's why. That's why the Ten of Swords is here. What was the seven of wands about? Yeah, there's something that feels, to me, it feels unforgivable, not to the point where you can't move forward. You know what I mean? So that you can put something behind you, but there's something that you can't look this, like, it's not that you can't forgive, but you can't be, you can't start over with that same relationship. It's it's too hard to let go of at this point here with this judgment in reverse. We have Sagittarius, Sagittarius here. So holding on to um, standing up for yourself, asserting for yourself about what you will take, what you won't take. Because, you know, I'm seeing that like a bubble, like a protection, your bubble of protection. You drawing your boundaries and saying, no, no, you're not going to do that to me. Yeah, nice. Okay, so King of Swords in the reverse as a challenge. Is this a person or why is it a challenge? Lovers in reverse. A poor decision. I, I feel like this might have been something in the past. Comes with the Page of Cups on the bottom. 
a new beginning. Something wants to begin that's new. Maybe you're looking for this. Maybe you're looking for this. Leo, Leo, Gemini energy. Give us something else with this lovers in reverse. Eight of Pentacle. Okay, we're we are definitely um eight eight. We're definitely focused on the money aspect right now or our work. And here we go. There's some kind of victory, maybe involving work here. What else about this uh, victory? What else about the victory? Because you're just getting kind of bored where you're at when you're not moving forward. You are over everything, and it's, um, it's time for you to have a fresh start. That's what it's about. What's the Ten of Wands in the reverse? Ten of Wands in the reverse. And there it is. <laughs> I think timing is really crucial here, and the timing will be right here in the future to either go after something else or completely, this is when you make your move to cut something out or to break up with somebody to split, to go your own way and to leave fast. <laughs> What's the Knight of Cups about in the reverse? It's the Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords on the bottom. Somebody makes you feel paranoid because there's so much crap that you had to deal with. So much heavy lifting here when it comes to emotions that um, that they had you in your head all the time feeling paranoid and stuff like that. So no, you're not going to accept this apology. Feeling like a mental prison here or restricted tied up somebody that this person might might have been like that that type of person real restricting what are we losing our patience on a new beginning our soulmate to come through and for this problem or this thing to have an ending and it will this ending is right here, I feel. And this is a new ascended um, chapter. This could be family opportunities for family wishes coming true too. And something that's just not over yet. Like this isn't dead. So for those of you that want to resurrect something, I guess there you go with that. Because there may be kids involved here. But still, we're, we're still keeping that Nine of Pentacles for you though providing direction there's your arrow there's Sagittarius energy again isn't it Queen of Pentacles why are you here and why are you in the reverse Ooh, this uh, is the one who upset the commitment or the one who uh, caused a breakup well somebody's bad decisions led to that poor decision led to that and we're just not ready to forgive all right, so we're focused on our number eight, and that's what's coming in for you. That's prosperity and financial gain. So I'm definitely going to pull from this entrepreneur deck for you to wrap up your reading. It was a good reading. It's just very, it's a very powerful reading, and it's definitely going to be focused on some uh, money coming in. Sell. Learn the art of sales. Embrace selling as a sacred exchange of energy well-being and goodwill between you and your clients decide that when you're confused by too many choices decide the best course and outcome and pursue income generating activities in your business yeah so this might be on getting more information to decide what what to leave behind in a business situation too it could be about that diversify content marketing blogs photos video Build the no like trust factor with your audience. Be ubiquitous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms. Diverse platforms. One more. And meditate. Practice meditation to connect deeply with spirit. Visualize your next steps, then take your inspired action towards your next goal and dreams.
mastermind, go for it. Join a community of entrepreneurs who can give you the love, support, and feedback that you need to achieve your dreams. The mas mastermind this. All right, and that's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Thanks so much. Bye, Scorpio.